up says james what's happening other truck james best man are you trucking what you doing james all right what's up don cool c what's going on jason k brian ludwig what's going on john armstrong i, I don't know i talked to you lately i'm not sure jersey what's happening isaiah what's going on all right so here's the thing fire 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 right spot markets on fire just there it is. That's a van, right? Let's take a look. We can click up here in this corner. We can go over here, hit flatbed, see what the flatbed's doing. You know, it's not as good as the van, but they got a lot more over here. So it, it's, you know, kind of. Van has a lot more green, right? So we look at uh, the reefer people. So we look at the reefers. And the reefer drivers, you know, they got a lot of green up here. They got that. So van is actually looking like one of the best uh, boxes to be running at this moment. Because if you look at the van map, you got all kinds of green and yellow. And you have very little red and it's mostly put right right here uh, in the upper west, western region of the country. Now. Basically, what's happening is the guys are putting in bids way above what the post rate is, and they're getting it, right? They're getting what they're asking for. Kind of reminds you of 2018, but better. This is better than 2018, folks. It's better. Um, <clears throat> okay, Bugatti. I got a text from, from Bugatti. Um Missed another call, missed that call, missed this call. Got calls coming all over the place. Got brokers calling all over the place. Um, all kinds of things happening. Slow your roll, snore lord. That's what Donald says. Slow your roll. What's up, Iron Pennington? Ain't seen you in a while. Uh, Eric Daly, what's going on? Way better. Yes, it is way better than 2018. And uh, see, that's what this channel brings you, right? We bring you what's happening today we're not talking about yesterday and, and, and what's coming in the future because you never know what's going to happen you can just speculate um, we will teach you how to buy a truck if you're a first-time truck buyer you know a lot of people say well you know i want this truck i want that truck i will sit there and listen to you and the dean will the dean will will tell you this he'll tell you this if you ask him the dean calls me up, tells me what, you know, he's going to buy a new truck. So we go over trucks. And that's the thing. I tell him what my what I would do, right? As a business, what I would do. He doesn't do it, right? He buys the other truck, which, hey, that's what you like. That's why I've always said. If that's what you like, makes you happy, um, you know, that's your decision. So they, he bought that truck. He's doing, you know, fairly well with it, considering the fuel mileage. Uh, but he loves the truck, and it's a beautiful truck, right? Everybody likes W900s. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, but there you go. Hey there. You are in Michigan. <clears throat> Where are you at, uh, Shadow Wolf? Are you up there going to Yo Play? Are you going to Yo Play? Are you up there in Reed City, Michigan? Is that where you're at? You know, if you were at Prime, you're probably up in Reed City. Yo play. I think they still run that up there, don't they? Um, 
Best trucking is hiring. Lots of laughs. That's what Jesus. <laughs> when do you think the bubble will pop? When you hit it with a needle or some sharp object, OTJB. Uh, now, if OTJB calls me, I'll, I'll tell him my opinion on, on, you know, his next steps forward and, and what I would do and things like that. Uh, you know, but that's just a phone call. John Armstrong, W900 or nothing. Well, John, I don't think you're getting a W900. Um, John's going the other route, which, you know, first time buyer. It is the right way to go because it's a used truck, two-year warranty, engine, def system, 100% covered on those items. Then if he wants the W900, work towards that goal, right? Work towards that goal <clears throat> if that's what you really want. 27 foot. So 2017 Freightliner, Cascadia, 375, 455 automatic, 55K. Well, that same truck, 2016 slash 2017, international with a two-year warranty, all that stuff included in the 30s, like 32, 33K. If you get it with the Cummins motor, it's probably about 40. So you'd still be saving twenty-five to fifteen thousand dollars in your pocket with a warranty for two year two hundred deaf everything. So, you know, is that twenty seventeen coming with the warranty to five hundred to six hundred? You know, that thing, if it goes to six hundred, yeah, it's two hundred and twenty-five thousand. Um, you're gonna get some really good fuel mileage. Talk them down a little bit. You know, try to get below 50. <clears throat> OTJB says, I love Pro Stars. Well, see, that's the thing. You, If you look at the Pro Star with all their bad publicity back in, the, in 2012 to 15, somewhere in there, they redone those motors. The Max Force motor of 2016 and above has been redone. It's got, you know, def system on it. Um, then you look at, you can get them with the Cummins motor and what everybody just can't get in their mind. doesn't matter if it's a Cummins motor in international or Cummins motor in a Kenworth, you know, Peter, whatever, it's still the same Cummins motor. Cummins don't make the motor different for different manufacturers. A Cummins is a Cummins, right? OTJB, a Cummins is a Cummins. Um, they do have one of the best programs out there on used trucks. They're fleet trucks, of course. Um, and let's face it, it's a truck. It's a tool. It's used to get the job done. Take, for instance, John Armstrong. He's posting it, so I'll put it up. He's going to pay thirty-one k for a uh, International Pro Star, and I believe... Out of the corner of my eye, I believe he posted miles on it. Maybe. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Uh, Amazon is on fire. I see that. Yep, right there. See, I, I seen I seen it. My pro star is a low three hundred thousand. Low three hundred thousand, two year warranty, you know, system one confidence with the deaf and everything. Uh thirty one grand. You can't go wrong. How can you go wrong? So here's the thing. You take that 332,000 mile Pro Star and it takes that load and you take a T680 brand new out of the gate, 165, 170,000 or a brand new Freightliner, 160,000, whatever you're paying. Or you take a W9 for 175 or 80 or whatever they want to charge for them. Both trucks make the same rate per mile going to the customer. Now, are both trucks equal going to that customer? No. One's going to get better fuel mileage and so forth. Uh, so it all factors in. All factors in if you're wor if you're trying to make the most bang for your buck while you're out on the road. In your pocket. Net in your pocket. Uh, people say, well, resale value, resale value. Well, 
they're a tool, man. If you you know if you buy a W nine hundred, you're not worried about resale value. You're you're going to keep that truck for twenty years, and then after twenty years, it's not worth nothing anyway because it's got several million miles on it. Oh, what's what's Lenny laughing about? What you doing, weird racing? What's up, Lenny? Peace. I like that. I like that. That's Lenny back in the day. He was the go kart champion, United States go kart champion. Uh, three circuits. No one can beat him. Fastest. He was the fastest kid on the go kart tracks, baby. Look him up. Uh, New. Must be new. <laughs> oh, Lenny's laughing. All right. So what else What else we got going on here? You're laughing at the comment to OTJB. Cummins is Cummins, baby. The rapper don't matter. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Uh, we got someone trying to break into the stream. Um now, if he covers his face up like that, it almost looks like OTJB with a beard thing, you know, the little little bit. But now we see a bigger beard. Must be Snowlo. What's up, Snowlo? What up? Hey, I'm going to fire my dispatch. That guy is a complete idiot. But he 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 uh he vindicated himself, so we're good there. So, well, he must have been snoring. Because smooth trucking says snore to the Lord. Uh, did you like that rate count I sent you, Jeff? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I, I put it in the trash. <laughs> Looks like we're going to get the tension on this load. So so hopefully the broker is not going to give me the runaround. Well, Hopefully. Hopefully. Because, uh, um, that'll make this load paying pretty good. So we're, we're going to end the week with a pretty good, probably the best week I've had in a long time. So you're right. The market is on fire. Look at all that green. Look at all that green. And look, okay. if we, in, in OTJB loves one, two, three load board. Loves one, two, three load board. Why? Because if you're a broker, you're posting for free. I mean, you can, you can go to the other load boards and pay. A fee. Um, did I get that right, OTJB? Did I say that right? But if you're a trucker and want a good discount, there it is at the bottom. With all the tools. I use it. I love the tools. Now, you got a good load. Now, let's check this out. Let's say if I was in Tulsa. 28th, 138 loads. Here's some deadhead stuff. Republic, Missouri to Iowa, 381 miles. Picks up Friday, 1600 bucks, 420 a mile. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Look at this one, Steve. Fort Gibson to Joplin. Look at uh, Neosha. What's coming out of Neosha? You know you can get these guys to go to 750-800 on that. You know that, right? Yeah, that Fort Gibson, the Joplin, that's really good. Is that deliver Monday, though? I bet. It might deliver Monday because I'll be it looking might. for Friday afternoon out of Tulsa. It might. And just scroll on down here just to see something. They got a lot of loads down there. Look at all these loads. Yeah, that, that's the Tulsa. You can hit the like Pryor, uh, Muskogee, uh, Fort Gibson, Joplin, the Osho, even Springfield. Right here. The Deadhead. Oklahoma City to Springfield. Oh, I bet you that I know what that. Oh, well, that's one of two things. I know what that is. There you go. There you go. So, yep. Right that, now. Well, I mean, if I could find some out in the ocean going to Ohio, I'd do that. I want to stay out while these rates are good because, like James Best says, that this bubble's going to pop. James says the bubble. He says the bubble. The bubble. Well, let's see. How about going to see Mikey? 
2300 Bentonville, Arkansas to Blaine, Minnesota. Minnesota? Minnesota. Well, there's no hurricanes in Minnesota. I'll guarantee you that. That's true. You're not going to see it in Minnesota. No. Um, hey, by the way, PSA, September 1st, a lot of chain laws are in effect. How about That's this, Norlord? Four days. How about surge transportation? Winfield, Kansas on Saturday, going to West Jefferson, Ohio, 2300, 268 a mile. You know they'll go to 26. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. West Jefferson. Pick up I Saturday, think, go home. I think three months ago, you know, I'm in Searcy, Arkansas. I think three months ago, when I booked a load out of here, there might have been 100 loads coming out of this area. 200 if I threw in Memphis, right? Today, there was over 1,000 within a 150 mile radius. Just picking up today. It's crazy. It's crazy good. Yes. James says he posted a few today. Free, baby. So let's take a look at some of these areas. What do you think we're going to find out of Columbus over the next two days? Lots of stuff. Probably all going to hurricane-struck areas. Oh, look at this on Friday. Tip City, Ohio to Youngstown, Ohio. 245 miles, 1473. That's crazy. A mile. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Sotus, Michigan, 496 a mile, 600 bucks, 121, you can get 750. We got guys just like today. CH. They said it was 750. It wasn't very far. I said 850. We get 850. And then, you know, the Dean, he really racked it up. He got him to go from like 800 to 11, 1150. Yeah, the load I booked went from, I think the original asking price was 650. I almost doubled it. Look at this load. <laughs> 2,000 bucks, Cincinnati to Rochester. There's a good Bowling Green load, 354 a mile, 900 bucks, Hamilton, Ohio. <clears throat> but what's good is the areas that you don't think is good, like Jacksonville, Florida, right? I got what a dollar eighty out of there. Orlando, Florida. Yeah. 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 When you uh, look at my, look at this one, sixty-six, sixty-seven a mile. 15 mile run paying a thousand bucks. Bartow, Florida to Winter Haven. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that, that's, it's good times right now. Look at this 15,000 pounds. Bartow, Florida, Albany, Georgia. 1,600 bucks for 329 miles coming out of Florida. 486 a mile. You, you need to do James a favor there, Jeff. Yeah. You need to look for loads coming out of Salt Lake City. Salt Lake. James ain't going there, but we'll go there. Look at all the Florida loads. I mean, look at them. Just tons of money coming out of there. All right. So we will go I to hope, Salt Lake. I hope James has got chains. He has. He has chains in his pocket. <laughs> oh, you said chains. I thought you said James. chains. Now, ain't nobody got change in their pocket. It's illegal to have change now. Don't you know that? All right, James, just for you, OTJB, just for you. In Manny Fresh, we're going to get to your answer. There's only one answer to that. <clears throat> There'll be a lot of people that disagree, but, <clears throat> you know, so be it. Let them disagree. Um, Idaho to Spokane, Washington, 364 a mile, 2200 bucks. 323 back down to Colorado. Look at this to Texas. Just saying, or 243 a mile. That's up 80 cents. Close to it. <clears throat> Look, you can go Idaho all the way back to 
New Jersey for two nineteen, forty eight hundred dollars. Two thirteen back to Austell, Georgia, right out of Utah. Man, oh man, look at those loads, James. Salt Lake still got loads. Look at that, going everywhere, <clears throat> going everywhere. He likes playing in the mountains. He does. He loves it. He's a mountain man. He likes it. What is better, cost per mile or cost per day? Are you asking me? Because I'm no expert. I'll give you my answer if you give me yours. Me? Depends no, he, on the load. He's getting you serious. Do both. You, 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 you do both. I go by cost per day on some loads, and I go cost per mile on others. You don't want to do a $10 a mile load that's only $400 for two days. But you don't want to do a uh, load that goes 1,000 miles for a buck ten a mile if your costs are $1.30 a mile. So, But you could do that $1.30 a mile if that covers your cost per day. So I look at both numbers. That's my answer. It's a good answer. It's a good answer. Good answer. But <clears throat> but if you do cost per day, if you do cost per day, you're always going to be able to pay your bills. If you do cost per mile and you don't see what you want cost per mile on the board, then you end up sitting and then you sit for days. And then yep. you get your cost per mile, but it's nearly not what you need anymore. And is your cost per mile is really variable because it depends on how many miles you do. It well, I tell people, I tell people all the time when I was at Snyder, when I was at Landstar versus Snyder, my rate per mile was to the truck was roughly about the same. However, I had more gaps with Landstar. I couldn't fill in the gaps. It was easier to stay loaded with Snyder. And so I made more per day, and I made considerably a lot more money. Even though the rate per mile was the same, I was able to make better rate per day. Right? Right. <clears throat> Look at this. New loads just for James. I got to show this. Salt Lake to Aurora, Colorado. three eighty a mile. 2000 bucks. There you go, Jamesy. Get on it. Right? Yep. James is going to find out it gets cold on the way where he's going this time of year. Yeah, that's right. He'll have to put chains on. He'll have to get into some muckalucks, you know. He'll have to get his parka on. The, he won't have any hurricanes to do it. So be no, but you better strap on a few, you know, nine millimeters, maybe a couple forty, you know, something. He's gonna have to take something. Maybe a riot shotgun, something. He's gonna have to have something. Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's good pickings right now. So I'm trying to stay out for as long as I can stand it. It is good pickings. Um, you know, let's go to uh, Dallas. We all know that area really stinks all the time. But <clears throat> even they have stuff. Uh, let's go rate per mile. Look at this one. Because of the uh, Arlington, Texas to Davenport, Florida. 4900 bucks, 438 a mile. No way. Yeah. It's right there on the board. See it? Wow. Maybe I need the deadhead from Tulsa to Dallas. Maybe. Is there what's up in here? Requires a team. See, there's a team load, people. It's right there. Uh eleven hundred dollars, Fort Worth to Houston. Why? Hurricane. Right? Oh yeah. Nineteen hundred, fifteen hundred. But look hey, at this. Speaking of, speaking of the hurricane, a friend of mine showed me a picture. The Isle Capri Casino there in St. Charles. Um, 
is under I-10 right now. It broke free, and it's under I-10, and there's a chemical spill that's going over I-10 where the hurricane hit. So if you're in Louisiana going to I-10, uh, don't. Go north. Do not go north. No, go north. Don't go into Louisiana. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Franklin, Tennessee, or Franklin, Kentucky, I mean, out of Texas. That's 10 cents below. They need to come up 88.95 to, to match that. Uh, oh, we got a Michigan load on here. Look at this. Longview, Texas, to Kalamazoo, Michigan, 216 a mile, 2150. That's right in line with the two week average. But it's still good money coming out of there. Oh, yeah. Cali is on fire. Yes, Cali is on fire. Day cab gear, uh, gear jammer wants to pour some Knob Creek in the airlines to prevent freezing. Um, dude, that's like wasting. What do you think OTJB would do if you seen somebody pouring Knob Creek down airlines? You should look at those Cali rates. Hold on a minute. We will, but I'm going to let's let's get you on, on the air here. What do you think OTJB would do if he's seen? Someone pour Knob Creek down their airlines to prevent them from freezing. Well, there's no telling. James Best is a very unpredictable person. Now, if you're a <coughs> microphone doing that, you're grass. Your, your ass is grass, right? So, so we want to look at what Ontario, California. Yeah. All right. Now. Before we do this, I'm going to give you what my take, what he would do. You wouldn't see him move so fast. James would get his choice of weapon, which would be a pair of cutters. And he would jump out of his truck, run over there, cut the guy's airline, and put that up to his mouth and start drinking. You know those hats, right? You see those hats, and they got all the beard, and they got the hose. James would, he would sprint over there, cut that line, and he would be in, he'd be filling up on Knob Creek. Yeah. See, he said it was wasteful. Look at, he said it right here. Slap, he, he just slap him. Look at that. All right, so here we go, Ontario, California. Boom. Wow, look at that. Oh, that, that changed. Flint, Michigan. I didn't even have that, but look, it changed. Flint, Michigan, and Springfield, how? 1200 bucks, 509. We're here. Might as well look at it. 354, Wisconsin down to Tennessee. Um, let's put this Ontario, California back in here. Here we go. We'll get out of the LA basin. How about this? Walnut, California, McCarran, Nevada, 1500, 610 a mile. Ooh. Five cent. But you know what people want to see, Snow Lord? They want to see this highest posted rate. Highest posted rate. I'm hearing number nine hundred bucks. Thousand coming out there. Sixty nine hundred to go to Haines City, Florida. Sixty six hundred to go to Alabama. Three twenty nine a mile. Van freight. That's absolutely insane. I, this, you're right. This is better than 2018. It is. Look at this, 5700 bucks back to Plainfield, Indiana, to the heart of the money. Yep. It's, it's cray-cray. And the dean wants to go out there. The dean is salivating. That kind of money, I might put some skirts on my trailer and go. You might. But I doubt it. Oh, they're really getting on James here. This is what John says. And then he's laughing. And then Day Cab Gear Jammer says that. And then Fun Time says, don't drop your cigars. And he, James ain't never going to drop a cigar. That's wasteful. Next trailer will have skirts. Yes, that's the only way I buy them now. If you know, for for the contractors, if they want to do a lease purchase on trailers, 
I buy them with skirts now because that way it gives them the option if they want to run west. Yep. And I also buy the plate trailers now with the skirts because that gives them a few more options. Yeah, that's my only is I didn't get a plate trailer. I thought about trade mine in to get a plate trailer. Even though I do like your bullet hole, Strick, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, that thing's seen, you know, it's been in action, right? It's seen combat. It's seen, uh, combat. <laughs> seen combat sitting in the dirt lot. Yep. But now, <clears throat> Steve, you might want to call the guy I used to get those uh, vanguards uh -huh. and see if they would do some type of a trade in deal. I might. Because it comes with skirts and the tire flaters and all that on it. Uh, and they gave a really good price to put the nice door vents in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll install the nice door vents. Installed everything for four fifty, I think he said. Oh, wow. Which is which is good because a lot of other places want to charge you like six fifty, seven hundred. Right. Yeah, that. Yeah, I might have to have a conversation with it because I I like the Vanguard trailers I pulled at Landstar. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, our one contractor he likes it, it's running good for him. Uh, I mean, look what R D and James Best said. So how many of our trailers have got skirts? Uh, <clears throat> out of the trailers I have, which is five, three have skirts, two don't. Okay, so I don't and know then, what the other guys' trailers look like. And then if you look at the other guys, um, Mark's ha Mark has skirts, so that's four to two. And yours doesn't. It's four to three. Uh, does Mikey's? Does Mikey's have skirts? His Stoughton? I don't know. But Mikey's not going to California. Well, Mike's been killing it, man. Mike's been killing it over here. Oh, yeah. Mike's been killing it. He's he, he's no reason for him to go to California. He's killing it. You should have seen the load he just got. You should have seen the rate count he just sent me. Bruno. Okay. Mike, there he Mike is. No Bruno's knocking it out of the park, right? He's killing it. Yep. He's like, you never hear from him. He's like stealth, right? He's stealth. He's low maintenance. Yeah, he's really he's stealth, man. He'll, he'll sit there and all of a sudden, bam, there it is in the email. <laughs> you look and you're like, wow, Mike, where'd that come from? And then you look at who he got it from. And then you're like, Mike, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got that last minute three o'clock shuffle down to an art form. Yes, Mike's the last minute guy. Right. He doesn't book ahead. He waits until... You know, he gets that off there. Not next week, taking a week and a half uh, family vacation. I, hey, Mike, you ain't got to tell me, but thanks for letting me know. Uh, that way, I will, I'll say I don't have to worry about getting startled by an email. <laughs> <clears throat> With, you know, $97 a mile. Yeah. He does pretty good. For half he he turned into you. You know, I call I. You know, when my when I when, when my low canceled last week, um, it was like already on the low board, telling me everything that was going on. He sounded like you, like here's the load, here's the load, here's the load, here's the load. You can do this, you can do this, and you can do this. I think you've influenced them, Jeff. Hey, hey, I I I'll give Mike some some uh, extra here and there to you know spark you up. Hey, it's no load load canceled. Get on him, Mike. Uh, yeah, so we do have, I'd say half the fleet has skirts. I'd say 50% have skirts. Yeah, Daycap says they're not even checking. And to be honest with you, I think I can just get the hinge covers and probably be okay, which I'd rather have those anyways. Yeah. You just need oh, yeah. some kind of wind deflection device. 
You and, know what uh, you need, Snorlord? You just need, like, kind of like, you know, you're old enough to know Speed Racer and Racer X and all that stuff. Right? Or Transformers, right? You, you, you need a trailer where you can hit the button and, like, the side will come up, turn into a sail, get you better fuel mileage, you know, so if the wind is, you know, deflect the wind and all this good stuff, uh, you know, you need like a James Bond trailer. That, that's a good idea. You know, someone needs to do that. Someone needs to make it to where you can retract the skirts when you don't want them there. You get a side wind and a hurricane, retract the skirts, you know, and as soon as you hit the California border, boom, you make, they come down, you're good to go. Well, you can actually do that. If, if they were, like, on the side, you could get them to where they could just rotate up in like this. Yeah. On some rails. Uh, you could do that. That's a possibility. Ooh. Or you could get them where, you know, they're on, they're on uh, poles coming down, and the mechanism's up there, and they roll up, you know. So they might only be about that far below you know if it's like six inches or something per per panel and then as you hit the button they just all the way down i mean there's all kinds of ways to do it yeah and, and like if you hit one of those docks that's going to rub on the skirts you can like retract them there kind of like a kind of like your drop axle you know your lift axle yeah yeah same thing you just hit the button and the skirts lift up hide away well i think i know what your next project is jeff you can become a millionaire overnight with that <clears throat> that you know what I maybe I'll start cracking on that and get out the CAD programs and see what we can develop. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Big announcement on like trucking. Um, Jeff is going to invent something that is going to transform the industry. Put that put the college, you know stuff to work go yeah. go into the attic and get out all those textbooks on engineering and figure something out what do you think of that that i think it sounds like a plan i think it sounds like a plan i like a plan all right so look at these loads man here's a new one just posted by coyote Ontario, California, Fairburn, Georgia, $6,700, 314 a mile. Look at that rate check. Possible backhaul. We can't see the computer, Jeff. What? We can't see the computer. Okay, there you go. There you go. Profit calculator. Boom. No tolls, 917 in fuel, 5782, 52. And if you were at Landstar and you're paying 35%, it's 3437. And if you're over here with your own trailer at 20%, it's 444252. <laughs> and if you're somewhere else at 85%, it's 4777, but other fees and you're paying, you know, $485 in fees. For all the other stuff, it's 42, 92, 52, which is less than 20%. So now you're, you know, like 25%. But this profit calculator can actually show you um, that, you know, your 15% is less than the 20%. Yep. Right? Yep. It's a good tool that Lauren and the gang just put in there. Yeah, because math is hard, and that makes math easy. It is hard, and there, there's a lot of people that are in this industry that can't do the math. I can barely do math myself. I need all the help I can get. Uh, Don says bullet vents are cheap. Yeah, ask Snorlord. He, he had bullet vents. Cheap. I'm going to tell you, man, Saginaw, Michigan is kind of a rough place. It is. It is a rough place. Yeah. Flint's even rougher. Yeah, there might have been two bullet holes if my trailer was in Flint, Michigan. Well, you you would have had uh, it looked like Swiss cheese. <laughs> Swiss cheese. 
You, you yeah. can see my trailer doesn't leak or nothing because when it rains, it has so many holes and just water just pours back out. It doesn't stand the floor. It automatically, you know, relieves itself. Oh, well, do you remember when uh, wherever Gear Grabber parked his trailer? You know that place, like the dude came in and shot up the place. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, that, that was in Michigan. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Look, automatic update no longer available. Rancho Cucamonga to Chicago, nine thousand pound load, fifty two hundred. No longer available on this one. That one's gone. Here's one in North Little Rock. Look there at all that money. Oh, someone's back right here. All right. So we probably have to, uh, I got to do payroll and stuff pretty soon. You know what? Yeah. Because you guys will start getting mad. Yeah. yeah. Start getting anxious. We, we, we get, we get kind of, we get kind of like, well, like I said, anxious, I guess. I, I could say another word, but your channel's a clean. Well, look, G I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't. <laughs> I stuff half time anyway, so. Did you, um, did you know as when you popped in, did you? Nope. Okay, so anyway, I get a call yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was Monday. I get a call Monday. And it's about 3 o'clock. Hey, John, just checking. Um, I didn't get no payroll. I said, because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I says, uh, I'll do it here pretty soon. Don't worry. But I like I like all you guys that can't seem you you seem not to be able to find your emails. I didn't get this statement. I emailed it. Everybody else got it, but you didn't get it. Did you check your spam mail? Did you check your your own mail? Sometimes sometimes attachments don't come through. Well, this guy right here, <laughs> I had a hard time with his email because he's got an email from back when the internet was first born. You know, this hey, well, Outlook thing. This Outlook thing. Outlook. Yeah. It, did he have an AOL? Did he have a, a web TV? Email yeah, yeah, yeah. OTJB at webtv.com. <laughs> email address. Prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> web TV. Can't believe I remember that. I, I never had a web TV. I wasn't rich enough to have web TV. No, you didn't have a little thing there to uh, control your TV. No, I was a I was a net zero guy. I got the free net zero service. Oh, you had the net zero CD? Put it yep. in uh, ten cents or whatever, or whatever it was back then. Uh, it was it was free at first, and then yeah. Uh, then they started charging. Now they just do email. I still have an email address with that zero. Oh, look at this. Shows tenure. Well, you know, James, you, you probably could have got, you know, five or six loads moved and had lots of money in your brokerage pocket if it wasn't Outlook. You probably didn't even get those emails of, of guys saying, I'll haul that load. <laughs> I don't this, uh, he says, Outlook, Juno. Does this, 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 the. Uh, does the one two three low board load on Outlook Express? <laughs> Ask James; he'll know. <laughs> yeah, see, Jaron Armstrong knows math is hard because guess who called me today about cost per mile and cent per mile and all that stuff? I'll give you one guess. Okay, uh, guess Norlord. Oh. I didn't know you were asking me. Um, who asked you? I, I, I'm out of guesses because there's no. You can't trust what James Best says. I'll give you a hint. Look at the screen. John. Yeah, John Armstrong. You're smart. 
Holy cow, you can't get nothing past you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is YouTube glory. Yeah, so he calls me up because he's he wants to buy that truck and all that. And he's like, uh, yeah, these numbers ain't, you know, and he says, these numbers ain't working out. This is disaster. Blah. Okay, what's your numbers? Go through. Well, it's not that, it's this. And then we come to find out, he's like, wow, I'll be doing really well. <laughs> Well, you know, at, at least he's doing the research. I once got an email from a person that went out, got his own authority, bought a truck, bought a trailer, put hired a driver to put set in said vehicle, and didn't know his cost per, per mile or cost per day at all. He had no idea. And I'm like, wow, okay. Good luck. Good luck, right? Good luck. Look at that. Chucky's going to pay off a Snyder Finance truck next week. Look at that. Look at that. See? I'm getting a call from the insurance company later today to see the future for the rest of the this year. And then I'll see what happens for next year. Yeah. We'll bring on, we'll bring on Chucky, a big rig CEO. And, and uh, a couple others. Right. Yeah, why not? I could bring on OTJB. Snorlord didn't say he's just sitting there looking at the thing. I'm reading the comments. I'm watching these yard dogs see if they pull my trailer out of the door yet. Hey, Darnell, thanks for supporting the channel. He's a member. Look, Darnell. He's got the bag. That is very difficult for me to understand, Jeff, that someone actually paid to watch you. That's weird. It's supporting the channel. It's not oh, paying okay. to watch me. <laughs> it's, you know, paid off truck life is great. Look at Big Face rubbing it in. Look at He's, hey, not that face, big face face is rubbing it. He's rubbing it in. All right, it's, look. It's, it's another guy that paid off a Snyder Finance truck. See, I could do this. I could go through all my videos. And I could just delete, 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 delete. And, and especially the good ones that talk about business. Delete, delete, delete. Or I could just take those and make them only for the people that support the channel. Well, them Snyder videos are probably still making you money because I know my Snyder videos are still making me money. So in fact, I referred I referred your Landstar versus Snyder video just the other day on Facebook because some some Snyder guy was asking about Landstar. Yeah, I see some of the other guys that done those videos, but it really cracks me up is when they done those videos and they didn't work at either company. That's what cracks me up. Yeah, there was one guy that that he was a KLM driver, and he and he was comparing KLM to Landstar to Snyder, and he had never worked for Landstar or Snyder. It was hilarious. Okay, then you can't compare. Right. You know, you, not only that, but the platform, all three platforms are completely different. Right. If the platforms are kind of the same, you could compare a little bit. Yeah, KLM, you're not even like self dispatch at that time. I mean, I think they got something now, but at that time, you couldn't self dispatch. All right, Darnell, when you start your carrier, you can. I don't know. I can't get so you can get all the input you want. All you can do is just email me or text me and I'll call you. I use my AOL. Dad has coast dad has coasters. AOL. <laughs> all right, anyway. I am going to get off here and do payroll. Or I could do it while we're just sitting here talking. I've got nothing to talk about. I'm kind of lame today. I, I did a live feed this morning. And, eh, it was all right. It was all right? It was all right. Here, let me, uh, here, I'll just go to this screen here. I'll just do some payroll while we're talking. Why not? Sure. Let me log into Thunder Funding. And uh, 
check all the invoices that were paid. Boom. Okay. And today is double rate day where you give us double of what the rate card said, right? Right. Yeah. And and then now, yeah, I take it out of Snorlord. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Snorlord's got plenty of money and he's he's donating to you guys. <laughs> All right. So what I will do is we are going to do the payroll. And Steve, do you get payroll, Steve? We'll find out. No, I delivered. If you already pay me for the Florida load, but this load's going to have detention, so I probably won't be able to turn this in until later today. If I ever get it loaded, I'm still the customer. Still waiting for detention. Who's that, Rich? You ain't waiting for detention. He is. No, he isn't. Look, let me look. Trips. He is. He's waiting on like $5,000 worth of detention. He is. He's waiting. Who is this? Coyote? Is that Coyote Load? Oh, Rich, he might be waiting until next summer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting on some Coyote detention. <laughs> from. I think it was a Christmas load. <laughs> Rich! Rich! Rich. <laughs> oh. Sometimes they're fast, other times they're slow. It depends on their customer, I guess. Well, I mean, they have, like on their app, they have some customers where they say detention could be uh, six to eight weeks. And if, if, if they don't give it to you, they penalize you for even trying. Right. And, and that's dependent on the customer. That's not Coyote's deal. That's the customer's deal. But and, and that's why the click and goes could could rule the world because like convoy man detentions like that man you, you, you're not even out of the dock yet before you got that rate con engine. So if I book the load knowing that I'm gonna sit like this one, I'll make sure it's with a broker that I know is pretty good at paying detention. Right. So I think the broker I'm under now is is pretty good about it. Yeah, I, I don't want to say their name, but I mean, what do you? What, do you agree or not? Yeah, they are. Okay, yeah, they're pretty good. Money, money. Do you? They got to give me enough time to get home though, because I got a load pickup tomorrow. Or I just shot store some money. Are you Thor? No. No. You're not the Thunder Man. The Thunder Man. Yeah, he's doing really well, too. Of course, usually you when know, Schneider guys come over here, they do pretty well because they're used to, you know, we have click and goes, too. But um, they also pick up the load boards pretty quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, self dispatch is, a, is an art form. You got to master if you want to maximize your money. Right. It's not as easy as people think. Let's just put it that way. Because you know how many times as a company driver did did I did I go, man, I could dispatch dispatch my truck a lot better than my dispatcher can, and then next thing you know. You become self dispatch You're like, wow, okay, I get it now. See, that's one of the benefits of being over here. Um, a lot of guys will get in that rut. They'll say they've been looking for hours, can't find a load. And I'll sit there and go, okay, how about this load, this load, this load? And you're like, where'd you find those? What? <laughs> you know what i say? I'll have them load within a minute or less. I watched you do that when I was hanging out at your house. You remember? Yeah. Like one of, one of your drivers called and said he'd been looking for the last, what, three hours? And he found it like literally in three minutes. <laughs> it, it, it works that way, right? Well, sometimes you need a different set of eyes, right? Yeah, and a different way of thinking, right? Eyes and thinking. Um, 
And then when you call them up and then tell them to load and explain why, you know, they don't, uh, they don't think about that. Well, I remember when I first started at Snyder, you and I would have conversations about, you, you would literally look in my area and say, okay, you could do this. And then I would do this. And then you can look for this. And then what I do is I look for this. He didn't like tell me what to look for. He told me how to look for what to look for. And that's, that's the important part. Instead of asking where the hot lanes were, you ask, how do you find the hot lanes? And that's what you did. I think I did pretty good at Snyder. You did do well at Snyder. You did. And like, like with uh, with Rich the other day, he said they're going, looking at all these loads. I said, take this load up to Traverse City. That's up there in nowhere. I said, yes, but you can get loads out of here, 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 and here. And they usually, if, if you get the loads just north of there, 20 miles, you're going to get a really good rate. They're, they're interstate loads. They're beer, but they're only going to weigh about 15,000 pounds because it's specialty stuff. Oh, yeah. What happens? Boom. Guess where he picks up at? He got that load. It's like 15,000 pounds. Took him back down to the southern part of Michigan. Then where he got another really good load. But, you know, they probably wouldn't go up there if they didn't know that there was stuff there. You're done making right. You take me back on Claire to get ice cream. I don't know. Why does your grandma do it? Because she's in the middle of painting. Oh, she's painting. What's she painting? Are you in trouble? Huh? Are you in trouble? Yeah, they're in trouble. No. You just want ice cream. They want ice cream, Snorlord. You you buying them ice cream? They don't need ice cream. That stuff's bad for you. It is bad for you. It'll give you all kinds of bad stuff. I guess Moonflea wants some money. You heard from you heard from Moonflea lately? I talked to him uh, yesterday. Did you? Yep. Well, Jason and I have been sharing keto tips. Really? Yep. Yeah. And uh, we talked to John. But the only person I don't really talk to is Rich Rappa. I don't think he likes me. Rich Rappa. You don't like yeah. it? No, he, that he's super busy. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's a busy guy, and, you know, he he does that keto stuff. Like, he's too busy cooking ribeyes on the back of his catwalks and stuff. Two of them, not one, just two of them. Doesn't share. You know, I'll put the link up, see if Rich Rappa wants to join in, if he's parked and not driving anywhere and just sitting around. Um, there you go. Hey, by the way, I'm using my Hot Logic Mini as we speak. I've got two hamburgers and some Brussels sprouts. Well, don't let don't let OTJB hear you say because remember he used to say it would take you seven days to do that. <laughs> okay, wait, is it other trucker James Best just shot me five bucks and he didn't cash at me? Dollar sign tot JB. You know he didn't cash at me instead. He's, he gives he gives YouTube eighty nine thousand percent of it. I don't know. What do you think of that? Well, yeah, I'll put the cash app up there. And it, it's Snowlords is dollar sign Snowlord. Yeah, mine's pretty easy. I don't have all these weird letters and stuff. No. I guess James bought uh, half an ice cream. Oh, okay. So you, you get you, you get the grandkids the expensive stuff, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You mean to tell me? Uh, I, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, Jack. If you ever come to Springfield, there's a place called Andy's Frozen Yogurt. Okay. In Springfield, and and people, it could be thirty degrees outside, and people are lined up around the block to get the stuff. I think they 
secretly put crack in it or something. It is like, it could be 20 below zero and there'll, there'll still be a line of people wanting to buy this stuff. Andy's frozen custard. You know what? Man, Big Mac. I, you know, he goes by Little Mac, but now they call him Big Mac. See, look, he just had two New York strips, the Italian stallion. Um, this That's is going to be a good eat. day for Big Mac. That's good eating. You want to know why this is a good day for Big Mac? Guess why? Why? He delivered. Ooh, this could be good. He delivered three loads yesterday. What do you think of that? Three loads. Three loads. He'll get paid what for all three. A full turnpike thing or something? What do you do? Got three loads, man. That's all I can say. He's he's he's, he's putting it down like Swift, man. He's Swifty. He's Swift. Oh, he's getting the kids back to college. Hey, the who wants to know what a New York strip is? <laughs> it's an upgraded version of uh, Jaeger schnitzel. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, look at look at look at James Bess's answer to the the who. The crap side of a T-bone. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the harder, it's the tougher side of the T-bone. Oh, wait. I got to redo this. See, now this is how nice I am, okay? Let me go in here and delete this... Uh, this money, this settlement, and do one. He wants three separate. Huh. So I'll delete it. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to delete it. You deleted his payroll? That's not very nice. Yeah, I deleted the payroll. <laughs> I don't think he's going to appreciate that. He likes them separate. So we'll do them separate. Isn't that nice of me? Won't even charge him an administrative fee. James, like does. James, you used to get payroll. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we, we just done that instead. Now he'll be happy. It's a little more work, right? Because you could just hit a couple buttons, boom, now you're done. But then, you know, now I got to go through here and do more work. But hey, it's okay. And this place stick forever. Well, why did you do that? Well, you know, it was two pickups and it's mixed product. And so it's probably good that the hurricane load didn't happen anyways, because I wouldn't have been able to pick it up anyways. Time wise. See, I always order ribeye. See, James agrees. Ribeyes are the best. But James says he likes payroll. He used to get payroll all the time. <laughs> Yep, back in the day, man, James Best was the master at the short game. He was. He got payroll every single day. Yeah, Monday through Thursday, man. He, he got it. He got it made. Yeah, but see, now he's doing it himself. He's paying himself. So stop your complaining, James. Stop your complaining. You want to complain? Complain to yourself and pay yourself, right? Yeah, <laughs> but the boss is cool. <laughs> the boss is cool. Is that what he said? Yep. Awesome. So I'd have been done by now, but since I have to do this, 
um, you know, we, we won't hold it against Jason. <clears throat> uh, Graders in Ohio is the bomb for ice cream. Look at all these people talking about ice cream. Yeah, see what you did. See what happened? You got everybody yeah. an ice cream kick, and it's not even good for you. Well, no, there's a keto friendly ice cream. I like that Telantes, uh dairy free stuff. Get the dairy free. That stuff's good. Never heard of that. Raspberry sorbet. They got a peanut butter. They got a peanut butter fudge one that's really good. You'd like that one, Snow Lord. I don't know. I think if I had really sweet ice cream right now, my pancreas would shut down. Uh, the Sandman, he is going to deliver three loads today. What's up with that? I don't know. I found him, you know, some of those loads. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he's going to have three today. Hey, do you remember that time when you were a Snyder and you did like like 10 loads that were like literally like two or three miles? Yeah, like you're in Bay City. Yeah. Something crazy. Yeah. Yes, I did like 10 loads in one day, dropping hooks, just bang, 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 bang all day long. <laughs> I just, I hit them buttons so fast, just a side of off. The computer couldn't keep up. I remember that. That was a good day. I think I was still at Landstar when you did that. I was really, I was really jealous about that. You're like, man, I want to do that. I but you had to be in Michigan to do that, and you didn't come here. You didn't go to Michigan. I don't think I ever did go to Michigan for Landstar. I don't think so. You got close. Fort Wayne. You go there quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know. I don't know. Landstar just didn't. I don't. Know, I don't know if I did look in that area or what. But, but uh, I do remember accidentally booking something to the Upper Peninsula. I think I remember Ooh. that. I love the Upper Peninsula. It's quiet. It's cool. You got a lot of mulch out January, of there. January. Did you, there? Really cool. Did you haul mulch out of there? No, I, I ended up, that load ended up being canceled. Oh. Because I thought it was Menominee, Wisconsin. It was Menominee Falls. Yeah, for, or no, it was Menominee. It was Miami, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. I think there was a blizzard up there, so I, I canceled the load. Well, that, <laughs> that'd be par for you. I'm out of here. Forget that load. Because it snows up there now. It's just not, you know, a little snow. It snows. I had a friend of mine that moved up there from Springfield for two years for a job. And, yep. He, he told us some stories about up there. You know, when I trucked up there, it'd be, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the ice road trucking. You know, because when it really snows and they, they get feet, right? So yeah. they can get a foot or two foot. The road would be packed. Can't see the road. And the truckers would be going 60 plus miles an hour, just, you know, flying down the road, just like they do, you know, a nice road trucker and all that stuff. And you're just like, are they crazy? Well, if they got 15 axles and they're over 100 yeah. on the weight, you know. Yeah, they got tons of weight. Yeah, they have tons mm -hmm. of weight. And then he's going to move it on and uh and they, they don't really don't use salt, they use sand, a lot of sand up there. Throw on the so it doesn't, you know, you get some traction. Right. Hey, wait, Rich, hey, the Italian stallion gets some that's why he wanted to be on here. He's getting some money. Is he still there? Ooh. Let's see what what number was that? Oh, yeah, that's not the one he's waiting for detention. Yeah, that one he probably owes me like $6,000 in fuel on. 
been waiting, you know, six months to get that back. <laughs> I won't tell you who he's waiting a detention on for. Oh, I think I already said it. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's sad that we have to. Oh, Big we... Mac, Little Mac. The Mac man. Uh, here's what's happening. I did your payroll and I did the deposit as all one lump sum. And then I was going to send you the uh, statement with all three loads on there. And I says, Oh no, well, wait a minute. So instead of canceling out the one lump sum, you're still getting the one lump sum, but I sent you each load individually. Will that work? Or do you want me to cancel out the lump sum and do three small deposits? But if you look at your payroll statements, you have three of them. I think that'll work. If he wants the other way, we'll charge a what? Did, what did what did Snyder charge us? Fifty dollar administrative fee or something? We'll just do both and pay him double. <laughs> yeah, Stormer's going to pay you double out of his money. <laughs> we all heard it. You can't get away from it now. Well, I can get away from it. A little Max, deliver a load first before you get paid. I'm waiting for Little Mac to tight. So one lump sum, but three separate statements, each one on its own, right? And he likes your double. He wants you to pay him double, Snorlord. Look. Oh, give me access to the paycheck. How can you resist his smiling face? And he's got a beard. The bearded people are cool. You should try it, Jeff. Can, can, can you guys, everybody put a thumbs up in the chat if you want to see Jeff with like a full blown beard like mine. I had one. When I lived in the UP, I had a beard. Huh? I did. I had one. I had one for a few years. Yeah. Sure did. I would like to see that picture. Well, you're lucky. No one's giving a thumbs up in the chat, so they must not want to see you with the beard. Yeah, I guess I guess Jason's okay with that because he didn't say he didn't say anything else. What's up, Rod Tate? What's going on? Snorlade pays double in pesos. Where's that? Right there, the hool. The hool's getting you. That's right, Rod Tate. Give him a lump sum and then do it in there. Oh, uh, Rick doesn't want you to have a beard. Iris said that'd be different. Grow a beard. All right, so we're done with all that stuff. Now we can get back to, you know, business. I might go into this customer and tell my dispatcher's curious of when I'm going to get out of here. All right, we'll do it. I, I use that line a lot. I'll go in there like, hey, don't get mad at me. But my dispatcher is kind of pressing me on what time we're going to get out of here. I'm not lying. So. Well, I'm the only one that ever joins in on the stream yard. Uh, because no one else knows how to click buttons. <laughs> you know, if you want to know the truth, no one knows how to click buttons. Clicking buttons is hard. It's hard. It's hard work, man. Is it standard procedure if you live in the UP to have a beard? Like, is that like a law up there? No, not really. It ain't the law. Should be. You can snowmobile. You should have a snowmobile in your yard, though. Snowmobile. Yeah, you should have a snowmobile. Mm -hmm. All right. So we bored enough people, right? Don't you think we bored enough people? Yeah, I mean, I, I probably doubled the boredom factor, so I, I apologize for that. <laughs> he doubled the boredom factor. Um, since I've been on here and we've been doing payroll and all that, what else have I missed? Well, let's see. Um, 
BOLs came in, three of them. And shoot, John sent me two. I must, I must be. Uh... Oh wow, that's so blurry. I need glasses. I can't even read that one. Snorlord, this this thing. If you've seen this BOL, woo, he must be using that tiny scanner thing. Tiny scanner works great. You just gotta hold your hand still. You can't be like over me and shaking your hand while you're taking pictures. Okay, now he's got it. There he goes. He must have had a hand over the thing or something. That was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one he delivered today. I like to put my handprint on. That's what I like to do. So we will send this to Thunder Funding. And I'll make sure I send them the non-blurry uh, copy. What else we got going on today? Anything else today? No, just uh, don't go on I-10 in Louisiana. Um, that is closed, right? I would imagine. And... Uh, Keep up to date on the hurricane information so your dispatcher doesn't do something stupid and send you in the middle of it. Yeah, I wonder uh, who's done that. I wonder who the dispatcher that is. Uh, <coughs> Snor <coughs> Snorlord's dispatcher. <laughs> Snor uh, here's another bill. Oh, this one looks all right. That must be Thor. Yeah. Thor's got a good good looking BOL there. So he done that short load up to Jacksonville. Yeah, there was a lot of good shorties when I was down there in Jacksonville. I it, it was it, we live in a weird twilight zone world. Rates coming out of Florida and out of Texas have been really good. It's kind of weird. It's freaking me out a little bit. It's like someone's the matrix is off or something. Right. Um, little Viking coach has a thing for you. It says don't eat yellow snow. Agreed. Agreed. You guys remember the I remember commercials on Saturday morning cartoons. They had commercials. It was like a jingle. Don't eat yellow snow. It was something like that. It was just crazy. It was like, wow, that's a common problem. <laughs> What would ever possess you to do that? I don't know. Even the, the guy from California knows not to eat yellow snow, so I don't know how you missed that. You guys want some more loads sent your way? I got like 900 more emails. Yeah, you've been on fire with the emails. I can't even keep, keep up with it. Here, I'll send some more. Okay. Let me know when you get them. That's how many loads right there. Just it's just bombarded. Allentown, PA to Coldwater, Michigan. Anybody want this load? Allentown, PA to Coldwater. Yeah, That'd be, that would be a bad run. Uh, Mikey, get a hold of your your shipper or your uh, your broker there and tell them who you are. I'll I'll do it online. Don't worry, Mike. I'll take care. Yeah. So that's what's happening. Oh, you got three emails right there. I got some from earlier. You want some Alan Lund stuff or some Transland or Transplace and Trans this, Trans that? And... Trans, trans. All right, send this one in. See, get it all done while I'm sitting here. Jeff, do you have a max mount discount code? Jonathan Wither, I used to have one. I don't remember what it is. You could try BRN. It's usually what it was. Something like that. 
think, I think that's what it was, BR and yeah, something like that. If it works, I don't know. Yeah, you were slacking on the on the on the discount codes, Jeff. I can't believe it. All right, Snow Lord, here we go. He wants oh, to boom. One, two, three, load board. Discount 48035. 35 for the dot. 35 a month for the premium plus. You can't get any better load board for that price. Now, you want a discount on your funding? Call Scott Kennedy or Willie Andrus at Thunder Funding. The best funding company. I don't care what anybody says. And OTJB will even see that, say that, even though, even though he knows what he did. 800 240 4140 on that phone number. Now, trucking office, the best trucking software for mobility I use on any device. Now, if you want a nice program on a Windows device, then Truck and Pro is good and use SA10. That's code. That's no Lord's code. But for trucking office, BRN 2018 gets you 10% off for life because it's a subscription based where Truck and Pro is a program. Yeah. One time fee. One time fee. Uh, another discount code, Snorlord is in the house. Um, what else? I'm going down the list and you're in the list. Um, another one, Snorlord is live on the Big Rig Radio Network. There you go. Um, what else we got? Hot Logic Mini. Yes, there's a Hot Logic code, BRN. Get you twenty five percent off. Uh, what else we got? I don't know. TMFS. Sign up to them. BRN is the code for TMFS. That's the uh, driver file program. And if you want to donate to Snorlord, Cash App is dollar sign. Nor Lord. Right there. There it is. I appreciate that, Jim. Dollar I sign Snow Lord. Dollar sign Snow Lord. He needs he needs some little Viking coach carnivore diet. So he needs some ribeyes. They're probably like sixteen dollars a pound where he's at. Uh, Missouri meat, meat prices have gone down. Have they? Uh, yeah, they're, they're at Walmart last week. They had pork roasts that were like this big for like six bucks. It was pretty good. Wipers. Yes, we do have a discount for wipers. I don't. I forget what it is. It's probably in the thing below. I don't. It's probably BR. And I don't. That's usually what it is. Heated wiper blades. I got some. Do you want some? I have some. Heated wiper blades, like extra special flashy lights for your pickup. Flashy lights, play, pick play speed turtle. BRN for that too. BRN, boom, get some money off the speed turtle. That's right. There you go. All kinds of stuff. I just can't get a headset. Do you have a code for a headset? Need to. See, do you have a code for Road Pro Cooker? No, I. We were gonna work something out, but I haven't heard from them in a while, and the last two things they sent me had issues. <laughs> so I don't endorse anything I don't believe in. <laughs> the hool says you guys don't have any cell phone data left because I sent out too many loads. <laughs> oh boy! All right, so. I think that's hey, for today. Speaking of the pool, Jeff, you, you, you haven't laughed until you've heard a, a, a Swedish guy talk hick accent. It's All right. Pretty, it's pretty good. All right, Jeff, I'm going to go bug these guys. I got to go. We have to go. See you later, Snorlord. Exit out of here. Uh-huh.